Basically, the PCS is a good place to be. It's a good place. We all love it here. It's a fantastic place. The staff's great. I've divided the screen. Also, PCS do like emo thing. Minx is um, we live in an area and the people are great. And that's it. Well, I like PCS because of the fact that Sheena's a boss and Kara's a boss and it's new faces in the company than there was the last company and you get more activities and go on field trips and stuff and stuff like that. I like PCS. It's the best building. Like, we might go fishing. We might go any kind of trip we go to and all, all that kind of stuff we did and PCS is nice place and you know. I would probably be more open now than I've ever been because I know that she would have the support not only of her family but she would have the support of PCS. I was scared. I was worried about what was going to happen with the program, with my daughter, if she'd fall through the cracks. I just didn't know. I was just leery. I didn't know. They had a dance, and usually I would pick her up and she would just leave, and that would be the end of it, head down. She had fun. She'd tell me later. But when I picked her up, she walked up. She said, I want you to meet my friends. And she it almost cried, and it still makes me kind of feel kind of teary-eyed. She's never done that. She introduced me to several of the different people and her supervisor. She was very, very happy. She's coming out of her shell, thanks to the people here. We were very pleased with the fact that most of the staff that used to work for Longview was kept, at least to the best of our ability to know. And the people who worked primarily with David stayed the same, so we were very pleased with that. And, um, you know, it was a big change to go from Dark County into privatized, and uh, it was it was scary. It was very very scary for us. I don't have the stress that I had before. I can actually go home and lay my head down at night and know that I've done something good. Uh, the initial reaction was I was scared. Didn't know if it was, you know if we was going to have a job or not. But then once PCS took over and let us know that we were could be hired then that kind of ease that, you know, with the additional staff, there's more outings that they can take, there's more things that they can do for the individuals, and uh, more classes they can offer. So yeah, I think everybody likes Room it. Room to grow. Mm -hmm. Did you agree with that? Yeah, there's a lot more flexibility. Uh, yes. Before we were tuned in to be vocational and direct care, what direct care people we had, and with the flexibility of going on outings and volunteering in the communities, and. Mm -hmm doing those sort of things uh, makes it a lot more interesting. We have a lot that were very unsocial. Mm -hmm. They have really come out of their shell mm -hmm. and it's wonderful. Yeah. Um, she never, one of them never liked to be around anyone at all. I mean, she was in her own little world and now she talks to other individuals and the staff and she's, uh, involved in outings and so she's come a long ways. I, I just can't say enough. Um, our individuals, their guardians, um, staff, everybody's just like family and that means a lot. I would say just to give them a chance to let them come in and see what they have to offer. That I would have for, a, continue to have a job. That was my first expectation that I would be able to continue on doing work, you know, similar to what I was used to doing. That was my initial expectation and that came true. Um, driving the buses, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yeah. Never driven mm -hmm. anything like that before. Now I can uh, drive her like a champ. And not knowing whether maybe six down six months down the road we would not have a job 
We didn't know mm -hmm. what we were guaranteed. That was all kind of, you know, there's nothing sat in stone. So that was a big worry. Being a single parent, that was a big worry. Mm -hmm. Most yes. definitely. Yes. <laughs> I, uh, that's a uh, hundred percent. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. They have the means and the opportunities to get out into the community to where before we didn't, um, mm -hmm. they get to make the, a lot more choices. Oh yeah. You what know? their day looks like. They mm -hmm. can choose different things yeah. throughout their day. And Definitely. they can plan things. Yes. Yeah. They can take ownership mm -hmm. and plan what they want to yeah. do and then bring it to staff and say, hey, this mm -hmm. is what we want to do. We mm -hmm. want to go here. And we help them carry that out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I think as a, as a county board, we had provided services for many years and, uh, we were hoping to see a, a smooth transition in terms of the quality of services, that that be maintained, making sure that services continue to be person-centered, and we really had the interest in making sure uh, with the requirements for really being more community integrated and uh, really giving people opportunity to go out into the community and experience their communities that uh, the plan was moving forward that we kept moving toward meeting that goal we would really work with PCS and make sure that, that those goals, we kept making progress toward that. So that, that was our, our central focus as we transitioned. Well, I think when we first started out, of course, we had done some preliminary sort of groundwork uh, with families, with individuals, talking about the changes that were coming. We had participated in a uh, state-sponsored program that was called Project Transformation. and. Uh, we, we had some experts in the field that came in and helped us to understand sort of where we were going as a field. Um, and then I think whenever we started working with PCS, we, we took a lot of that philosophy, a lot of that direction, and had good discussion not only with PCS, but also with families, individuals that we serve, so that we all really tried to be on the same page with where things are going. And, and we recognize that people would likely have some concerns about changes. Uh, very familiar with county board system and how things were structured. So we all worked together as a team and really tried to make sure that questions were answered, that we took time to meet with individuals and families and really talked about our, our goals through the transition and what this might look like on the other side. So I think just putting the effort and the time investment on the front end really uh, helped a lot through the process. Yes, overall with, with transitional goals, you know, we, we all set a lot of goals and sometimes we meet some of them, sometimes we don't. But I think uh, some of the good things that I've seen happening has to do with that community integration. Um, people that have a lot of uh, new opportunity to get out and experience some things in the community. So I think that's been uh, a real plus with transitional goals. I think trying to partner and look at ways that we can work together in terms of uh, community employment, look at uh, the direction of you know sheltered workshops in Ohio and where that might take us. So I think we've really tried to partner and work through and continue to work through some of the challenges that uh, and opportunities that we continue to have there. Um, you know we've worked well with PCS. I do have to say there are other day providers in our community so we've really tried to partner with everyone um, and really look at that sort of the niche services that that people might be looking for. I think PCS has worked well with the other providers um, in our community, uh, recognizing that we all have a role to play in supporting individuals and giving choice and really really trying to make sure that that we have good providers in our community. We've all worked well together and I think really exceeded expectations in that area. Well, I, I think I can truthfully say it's been a good experience uh, through you know this transformational process. Again, it hasn't been um, in our community, it hasn't been you know, adult day programs sort of one against another, but rather we've looked at it as a team and saying how can we support individuals with developmental disabilities in our community. And I think uh, PCS has been a great partner in, in helping us uh, work toward increased employment opportunities and uh, uh, just more community integration. So I think it's been a good experience overall and, and look forward to working with PCS in the future. I can honestly say that it had not been for PCS or Ryan would have shut their doors and clients in Clinton County would have been without services. I am very grateful to PCS for bridging that gap for us and ensuring quality services continued. Sincerely, Kyle Lewis, Superintendent of the Clinton County Board of Developmental Disabilities.